Hello students, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, in the present video, uh, we are going to discuss presentation skills. First year English, presentation skills. So how to present the paper effectively. So how to attract the uh, valuationer. How to score maximum marks, 97, 98 marks, how to score. So grammar part, section B, section C. So everyone scores full marks, okay. But section A, that makes the uh, great difference here. That is the main key role. It plays the key role, main role, okay. It is the deciding factor. Your section A is the deciding factor. So presentation means mainly section A. So in section A, what we have? Literature part, theory part we have. Annotations and question answers, okay. So first, uh, uh, we have to put the heading section A. Okay, section A, you put the heading section A in the middle of the page, okay. So then you write annotations prose. Okay. First question annotations prose. If it is 1A or 1B, 1C, 1D like that, 4 will be given, only 2 you have to answer. No. So for annotations, you write the headings like this name of the lesson, name of the author, prose, name of the lesson, letter to his son's teacher, name of the author, Abraham Lincoln. Okay, you write like this, then you start the answer. Annotation. How to annotate? So, four paragraphs are required. Introduction, context, explanation and critical comment. These four paragraphs are must, okay. In introduction part, you have to write. So, the lesson name and the author name, the given words are taken from the uh, lesson letter to his son's teacher. Inverted commas, you have to highlight it with the uh, underlining, okay. Written by Abraham Lincoln. So, say something about the author. He was the 16th president of the United States of America like that. So, something, one or two sentences you write about the author. Okay, then um, context. So, the present episode is taken from which book? So, what is the context? Who is the speaker? Who is the listener? These things are to be noted here in the context part. Now, the main thing is the most important part is explanation part. This is the most important part. So, it should be the biggest one. So it should be small, small, it should be the biggest one of all the four. Okay, explanation means also called meaning. It is also called meaning. Introduction is also called reference. Okay, it is also called reference. And the last one is critical comment. It is also called general relevance. In some books, it is called general relevance. So this is your opinion. So how you are rating the lesson, how you are rating the author. So what is the moral of the lesson? What is the style, author's style? Okay. So what do you learn from the, what did you learn from the given lesson? So your opinion, your rating, you are the critic here. So your critical comment, you become the critic here. So your comment, so you have to write here. So this is the way of writing annotations. If it is poetry, now you have to change it. So instead of prose, so you write poetry. Next question, second question, okay. So name of the poem, name of the poet. Name of the poem for poetry and name of the poet. Okay, for example, uh, name of the poem. This is my prayer to thee, my lord. So name of the poet, Rabindranath Tagore. So introduction, the given words are taken from the poem. So and so written by Rabindranath Tagore. He is also called Vishwa Kavi. Okay, he is a multi-talented genius. Okay, like that. So write three or four sentences about uh, the poet in the introduction part, context, explanation and critical comment, okay. Now, third question is, after annotations, you have to write uh, paragraph questions. So, what is the method? So, how to write paragraph questions, okay. We shall discuss here paragraph questions. So, similarly, we have to write uh, four paragraphs here for paragraph questions also. So, first, uh, we have to write about the author. For paragraph questions, okay, for paragraph questions about the author, about the author, okay, then uh, about the lesson, about the lesson, okay, so topic, the main answer is topic, so third part is the most important part, just like introduction here about the author. Just like context here about the lesson. So just like explanation here we have topic. There it is called critical comment. 
here it is called critical analysis you can call it critical comment also no problem it is called critical analysis critical analysis okay like this so four paragraphs so side deals okay four paragraphs you have to write for the paragraph questions okay about the author about the lesson topic and critical analysis four paragraphs you write okay so each answer should be a uh, one and a half pages one and a half pages at least one one fourth pages like this the length should be like this at least one one fourth okay like this okay yes more than one page it should be more than one page then only your answer will be more more effective and you can score four out of four here four marks okay right after critical analysis only for paragraph questions you write uh, relevant quotation on quotation you write proper suitable quotation you write okay so this is the for uh, effectiveness to attract the valuationer okay to attract your paper valuationer you write one uh, quotation here only for paragraph questions so in this way you can complete section a afterwards section b section b comprehension passages put the heading answers briefly you write then section c section c so headings compulsory headings are mandatory articles write down the answers you need not write full sentences 1 a 2 and 3 the like that you can write next prepositions just write down the answers number answer number answer okay tenses verb forms okay uh, common errors okay do as directed missing letters silent letters phrasal verbs transporting information phonetics odd sounds dialogue completion like that you use the headings use the headings and write down the answers okay so uh, you need not write full sentences except uh, uh, common errors correction of sentences there we have to write full sentence for example economics are an interesting subject or is wrong economics is an interesting subject like that you have to write full sentence there only okay for missing letters you have to write the full word okay receive r e c dash dash v full we have to write okay for silent letters also walk you write the word underline the silent letter like that match the following also 1 d 2 b 3 a like that you write you need not write full words column a column b you need not write so okay so some students are asking doubts so which section we have to write we have to start with for example just you go through the paper within 2 uh, 3 minutes quickly if you are perfect with grammar start with grammar if you are perfect with grammar 100% sure about grammar you start with grammar section c or section b b c a so if you are perfect with grammar then only you follow this formula first section b then c then a okay so this is the best way to answer the paper okay so we can minimize the time also we can save the time also time management is also very important beautiful handwriting is very important please improve your handwriting okay so neat handwriting calligraphy is very very important so neatness of the paper so write down the question numbers in the left margin okay question numbers mandatory don't forget to write the uh, question numbers here so whenever you don't break the sections unnecessarily first if you start with section a first you finish it up section a then only you go to section b okay b half again you are coming back to a again you are going forward b again c not like that okay first if you take up with c first you finish it up then only you go to some other section so when you are changing the section please mention the section name compulsorily so clearly you have to write okay so in this way so with neat presentation you can attract the valuation or again you can score 97 98 even 99 also many people are scoring these days 99 okay so i hope that this video is very useful to you okay all the best students meet again very soon with another interesting topic take care of yourselves see you very soon till then take care bye bye jai hind